And, and welding, welding is addicting. Like you could dream about that shit. It, Straight yeah, up. Begin. Just fucking <laughs> be careful with it. You know, learn about what hurts and what doesn't, because over time everything plays a toll. And I could tell you every day it does. Like at nighttime, I have issues with like <clears throat> bright lights. When at nighttime, everything is blurry, and that's all because I was welding with the lighter lens when I shouldn't have. Because when you're trying to learn how to do the really pretty welds, you'll figure out the cheat codes just lowering your tint on your lens and then over time you understand you fucked your eyes or <clears throat> the initial poof when you strike an arc breathing that in that is a straight load of chemicals you are not supposed it will poison the fuck out of you or like shit like drinking or like drinking milk while you're welding galvanized or like 309 rod or anything like that because you could tell if you're actually being galvanized poisoning because it'll taste sweet the milk and smoking cigarettes will also help in the like, body, like to figure out if you have actually been poisoned by gas. That's what we used to do with the, like uh, the, these plants, these car plants. When I was welding 309 galvanized and shit, like when you would do this, you would have like we would have milk there, so we would know if we were actually like, oh shit, we might be poisoned right now. It was our way to understand, like if it tastes sweet or anything like that, you have issues going on. And so that now they got these welding hoods that have the mask on them and shit.